everyone. Welcome to this presentation of Enterprise Bare Metal, powered by Sixterra and Hewlett Packard Enterprise. A little bit about Sixterra before we jump in. Uh, Sixterra is a global leader in enterprise co-location and interconnection. We've got 62 best-in-class hybrid-ready data centers spread across 29 markets. Uh, we have just shy of 300 megawatts of power capacity and uh, just about 3 million square feet of raised floor space. Uh, we've also just recently joined forces with Hewlett Packard Enterprise as part of their service provider partner program and are also part of the Cloud 28 Plus solution provider community. Oh, here at Sixterra, we are highly connected. We're the third largest provider of interconnection services globally. We've got a large ecosystem of global network providers and cloud on ramps, and we are constantly adding new connectivity options to our facilities. Uh, all of our ordering and order management is done through our customer portal, so it's super easy to deploy new networks. And uh, we're also highly adjacent to public, uh, public cloud providers, and, and why is that important? Uh, we realize that most of our customers are running workloads in public cloud, and if you have an hybrid, a hybrid architecture for your applications, uh, like Sixterra does, uh, that proximity to cloud will help alleviate any friction uh, related to latency. All right, so speaking of public cloud, uh, we realize that most of our customers are on some sort of cloud journey. Uh, they've got a cloud first or cloud smart mandate. And a lot of the times uh, we interpret that to mean public cloud only. And uh, what, you know, public cloud is fantastic for a certain profile of workload, uh, especially those applications that are cloud native and can take full advantage of the cloud platform services. Uh, you know, applications that have irregular usage patterns, R&D projects, short-term projects, you know, all make great sense to, to run up in public cloud. And, and again, Sixterra is a big consumer of public cloud too, uh, even though we could just as easily run those workloads in our facilities. But there's a certain profile of workload, you know, those steady state workloads, high resource utilization, uh, demanding performance requirements. So you might have requirements around single tenancy, security compliance. Um, there's a cost predictability attribute sometimes uh, that you need to consider. Uh, there's also uh, data gravity. You might have an application that's generating a lot of data and, you know, over the next few years, egress charges could become a concern um, and moving those workloads down the road might not be an option or might be financially infeasible. So we believe that a hybrid architecture and running a mix of public and uh, dedicated environments is, is the right approach to get that mix right. So what we've been working on here at Sixterra is taking the best of both of those worlds, that dedicated on-premise experience, right, where you get all the benefits of performance and security and control and cost, um, compliance, you know, all, all the things that we've known for years, um, and also mixing it with uh, those attributes that we've all come to love about public cloud, right, connectivity at scale, rapid provisioning, uh, global platform uh, full of rich APIs, and creating a, a new class of service that we call cloud agile private infrastructure. And so with this, Sixterra helps you satisfy all your cloud first and all your cloud smart mandates uh, without any compromise. So to deliver on this vision, uh, Sixterra has built uh, an exchange experience uh, that delivers on that on-demand private infrastructure promise. Uh, Powered foundationally by a software programmable network, we give you access to a large ecosystem of global network providers, cloud on ramps, SD-WAN providers, SDN providers, and we also allow you to make uh, connections nearly instantaneously uh, with, within our facilities, right? Um, building on top of that interconnection foundation are a number of infrastructure options. This can be everything from uh, traditional co-location cabinets, you know, uh, all the way up to uh, a new suite of services that we're offering, including our enterprise bare metal uh, compute offering. Uh, we also have a rich ecosystem of partners uh, that are sitting on this exchange, uh, including, including storage partners, security partners, etc. Um, good to note here that our bare metal infrastructure is powered by Hewlett Packard Enterprise and Nutanix. So let's take a look at how it works here. So here is a logical view of one of our metro areas uh, in Northern Virginia. 
And we'll kind of start at the top here. So those pink lines represent network connectivity um, and our SDN fabric. And our SDN fabric is, is really the foundation of all, all the services that we offer, including our enterprise prior metal offering. This allows you to virtually connect disparate points within our data center or within a metro region. This is all powered by an easy to navigate web GUI and behind the scenes is a complementary set of APIs and we give you access to both. Um, and then so using that fabric, uh, in addition to just being able to connect disparate points uh, within your own environments, you can also connect out to our ecosystem of carriers and cloud on ramps or just directly out to the internet, also directly out to public clouds, right? And then building on top of that, Again, Sixtar has partnered with uh, Hewlett Packard Enterprise and Nutanix to deliver an enterprise bare metal experience. This is an infrastructure as a service compute stack. And uh, we've uh, gone to great lengths to make sure that all the security and all the networking sophistication that we've put into our data centers is now backed by HPE and Nutanix uh, in HPE's secure and resilient ProLiant line of, of servers. I want to point out here that you do not have to be an existing uh, customer of Six Terras to take advantage of our enterprise bare metal offering. Um, we can get you connected in from the outside, uh, no problem, even if you have no co-location footprint with us today. All right, so let's take a look at enterprise bare metal in action here. Um, this example is from the point of view of an existing customer, uh, but again, you do not need to be one uh, to have a, a very similar experience. And so um, what you can do in this example is if you are one of our customers and you've run out of space, you've run out of power, or you've just simply run out of compute capacity and you need additional compute nodes today, you can log into our web-based portal and as an example, say select five HPE ProLiant DL380s. Uh, quick, a few mouse strokes, we will set forth a provisioning sequence and within about an hour, those five nodes will be available to you to do whatever you want with, right? Um, so some unique attributes uh, about our platform, you know, first and foremost, because we give you access to a large community of uh, network carriers and cloud on ramps, you can architect the networking connect connectivity however you want. You have full control over the network attributes. Locally, you have full control over layer two and layer three, and then you also have full control on how you connect those compute nodes to the outside world. Uh, you may have some unique redundancy requirements, uh, no problem. You could pair up with three different carriers and make sure you have uh, redundant access, uh, secure and resilient out to uh, the world at large. Um, you also can bring really anything you want uh, to the data center to pair with this bare metal if you choose. Uh, you may have a storage filer, you may have uh, some unique security or networking requirements or some specialty gear. Uh, because we're also a co-location provider, you can put this equipment into a cabinet that's also part of the same logical network uh, that the compute nodes that you just provisioned are in, and you can pair all of this infrastructure together and it'll act as one logical unit. So pretty unique in the sense of your ability to uh, architect and have full control over the network and then pair with any technology adjacencies uh, that you might have requirements around where we don't have an ecosystem provider that can satisfy that need. Um, a few other things to point out, we give you full control down to the BIOS and IPMI. Uh, so if you need to get in there and tune a setting, uh, no problem, pretty unique amongst bare metal providers. Not a lot of other folks allow you to do that. Uh, we also give you a really predictable cost model. We charge a flat monthly fee. We don't monitor any of your usage on our compute nodes. Uh, we do not monitor any of the uh, network activity. There's no notion of egress data charges with us. So you can have very, very tight control over your monthly costs with us. Here's a few examples of how our customers are using our enterprise bare metal platform. Uh, first and foremost, uh, a, a private or hybrid cloud platform. Uh, we see a lot of folks using us for uh, VDI applications, uh, persistence layers, databases, analytics platforms. Uh, disaster recovery is a great use case for us uh, because of our uh, global data center footprint, right? You can uh, choose those, those backup or, or DR zones, uh, usually in a way that meets your needs. 
Uh, we see a lot of folks doing DevOps work, uh, a lot of projects around Kubernetes and containers. Um, we also are a great option if you're a SaaS provider and need to spin up a new availability zone. Again, given our global footprint, uh, really easy to get into a new market. And that it holds true too if you just are a company that need to get into a new market, regardless of the application profile. Because of our global footprint, so this uh, platform makes it super easy to get that geographic presence without having to do a full co-location and build out. And finally, uh, mergers and acquisitions. This is a great platform to park uh, assets, applications um, for, for the acquired company as you ingest them into the parent company. Let's talk about cost economics really quick. I think we're all familiar with the traditional IT procurement model, um, which is what that white line represents. So you've got a new project, you're deploying some new infrastructure, and typically you are going to build to a perceived peak of whatever that application or project is. You're gonna spend a bunch of capital and uh, get that environment up and running. And typically on day one, or even on day 30, you're not fully utilizing all of the resources that are available within that infrastructure. So there's some idle slack there. And with that idle slack, there's idle capital. With our enterprise bare metal platform, represented by the pink line on this diagram, you can build to today's peak and add server at a time and add infrastructure at a more measured pace as the demand grows, right? And so with that approach, since you're deploying that capital in a super efficient manner, all of that space between the white line and the pink line represents saving. So that capital that you spent day one doing that large infrastructure deployment, hopefully can be focused elsewhere. Um, so we think this is a really efficient model for deploying infrastructure. Um, and all of this money with us spends like OPEX, very similar to public cloud. Um, so if you have requirements uh, or constraints around your CapEx budget, we're a fantastic option. That's all I have for you today. Really appreciate you joining. Please visit Sixterra.com for more information on our enterprise bare metal platform. You can also find even more information on the cloud 28 plus plus.com website to learn more about our platform. Thank you. Thank you.